from that place, slowly begin to bring the legs towards each other, stretching your arms overhead behind you. Stretch your whole body as you inhale and melting into the earth as you exhale. Walking the feet back up onto the mat. And once again, bringing your knees in, rocking a little side to side. We'll go ahead and rock and roll yourself all the way up, or you can roll onto your side to push yourself up. And go ahead and find a nice, tall, and comfortable seated posture here with the legs crossed. Uh, perhaps one leg in front of the other, or one leg on top of the other, if you like. You're also welcome to prop yourself up onto a blanket or um, a block or a pillow here if you like. So let's bring the shoulders up by the ears as you inhale. Exhale, rolling the shoulders down and back. Again, inhaling up by the ears. And as you exhale, release the shoulders away from them. One more time, inhaling. Big circle, a little tension there at the top, and exhale, release. From here, root down through the seat as you inhale, reach up towards the sky. And as you exhale, let's lower your right hand down to the earth and stretch up through the left side of your body, bending over to your right side. Inhaling, rolling your heart up towards the sky. As you exhale, we're going to bend into your left elbow here. So and rest the weight of your head into your hands again. Inhale, feel that deep stretch between the ribs into the intercostals. Exhaling here. And as you inhale, let's go ahead and slowly come all the way back up. And then exhale, we'll twist over your right side here. So bring your right arm behind you, stacking tall as you press against the thigh. So inhaling, lengthening through your spine, rooting down through the seat up through the crown of your head. Exhale, looking over your right shoulder and beyond. Inhaling, lengthening again as we turn our perspective here. Exhaling, twist, ringing out from the belly button, from your navel. And from here, maybe taking a small little circular motion, so move me, moving through your core, through your center, around, uh, so in towards the arm, so circling towards your arm. Releasing the spine and the back a little bit here. And then let's go ahead and bring that right arm all the way up and over, crossing over top, grabbing your opposite knee. So we're crossing the right arm over top of the left and rounding through the spine here, stretching through that upper back and the shoulders. And then maybe from here, as you inhale, look up between the brows. And then exhale, rounding again through your spine. And then releasing the arms from there. Root down through the seat again as you inhale. Root down to reach up. Palms to prayer. And as you exhale, bring your left hand down to the earth. Find the floor first. And then stretch up and over through your right side. Inhaling, rolling your heart towards the sky. And again, as you exhale, we can bend into both elbows here, stretching through that side waist and through the intercostals, between the ribs. Another deep breath here. We're going to slowly come up, stretch up through that side. And as you exhale, we twist around to your left. So right arm, sorry, your left arm is behind you. As you inhale, root down through the seat, stack tall. And exhale, look all the way back over your left shoulder. Deep cleansing breaths here. Maybe coming back to what you'd like to let go of today. And from there, slowly circling around again towards the uh, front arm here. So inward. You make circles, just tuning into your core and all the sensations you feel here in your belly and your guts. And then let's bring your uh, left arm up and over. We're coming all the way around and crossing over to grab the opposite knee again. 
and rounding through the back here as you stretch through that upper back. Inhale again here, maybe lifting your heart and your gaze up between the brows. And again, as you exhale, rounding the spine, stretching through those outer shoulders. From there, releasing the arms behind you, let's um, come onto your fingertips. So we're bringing the fingertips, rolling the shoulders all the way back and lifting up onto the fingertips as you lift the sternum, chest towards the sky. Take another deep breath here, arching up or back only. Lift and open the heart space. Exhale, bring the chin and belly in. All right, from here, we're gonna stretch the legs out in front of you, nice and long. So give them a little bit of a wiggle and maybe shaking of the knees. Let's close the hands and let's just massage with closed fist here, massage up and down the legs. Just waking up through all those energy channels throughout the legs and the lower half of the body here, wherever you need it. And then from there, sliding your hands from the tops of your feet all the way up the legs, bringing energy, drawing it up through the body. We can also, as we shake things up here, we can uh, get rid of anything that no longer serves, any egoic binds, any, uh, anything that needs to be um, lifted up and out of the body. So the lower body is a good place to start. And then from here, let's go ahead and sit back onto your hands a moment. Close the eyes down. And again, see if you can observe just feel, notice any changes as you breathe. We're going to go ahead and cross the opposite leg in front or on top this time. And coming back onto your sits bone so we can pull the flesh out from underneath you. So the bottom is really behind you and the lower back is nice and relaxed. From here, we're gonna go ahead and take a deep, slow inhale, root down, reach up towards the sky. This time as you exhale, we're gonna open up the hands here, um, facing forward, and we're gonna reach the fingertips, reach your shoulders up by the ears, and as you exhale, lift the heart uh, and drop the shoulders down away from the ears. Inhale up. I want you to exhale through the mouth. So cleansing breaths again. In order to release anything that no longer serves, anything out of our control. From here, we're going to gently draw the elbows back. So again, it feels like now you're like pulling down a bar here. So using your uh, lats, like you're pulling something down. Audible breath. Release it out through the mouth. Now open and close. So as you open through the heart space, you ha, exhale. Ha, 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 ha. Keep this going. Ha, 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 ha. Let your heart space open through. You bring those arms back. Ha. Open, close. Ha. 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 Last time we inhale, reach up. Inhale a little bit more. A little more. And as you exhale, slowly releasing. 
to your arms. Back down onto your thighs. Just take a moment here. Again, notice what you notice. Observe what you feel as you breathe. So from there, we'll go ahead and stretch the legs out in front of you one more time and shake it out. We're going to swing the legs around or cross them through onto your hands and knees. Let's go ahead and um, sit the hips back onto the heels and bring the forehead onto the mat or onto your hands here if you need to. So we're going to take a balasana child's pose. I want you to go ahead and relax your elbows and your shoulders. If you're able to bring your arms behind you so that the palms are facing up towards the sky and the shoulders can release here. Take some deep cleansing, nourishing breaths into your back body. Remember you can always drop down into Balasana child's pose at any point in your practice. There's no shame in coming to rest, listening to your body and your breath. Here, feel as you inhale, maybe the belly gently inflate, pressing against the thighs, inflating into the lower back, the back ribs, and the space behind the heart. And as you exhale, soften into the earth. And with each breath, expanding side to side, front and back. You can inhale a little bit more, so increasing, challenging your lung capacity with each breath. Exhaling when you're ready. From here, we'll interlace the fingers behind you in yoga mudra here if you're able to. You can keep your forehead on to the ground here and stretch your knuckles towards the sky behind you. Um, if you'd like to make this more of a, into like a rabbit pose, you can come onto the top of your head or the crown of your head and lift the hips up so they're directly above the knees, stretching your shoulders again, arms up and back behind you here. Take care to keep your uh, neck long and relaxed here. There's no tension in your neck or pressure on your neck. If you feel that pressure, go ahead and come back down. Take another deep, slow breath here, stretching the shoulders. And as you exhale, slowly release the arms back down by your sides. And we're going to slowly sit back into your heels to roll up through your spine here, keeping the eyes closed and your gaze inward as you root down to stack tall shoulders above the hips, just take a moment again to just feel, observe the sensations. And from here, we'll take a Tibetan sun salutation. As you root down through the knees, we're gonna inhale, reach up toward the sky, stretch overhead. And as you exhale, bring the hands through prayer to the heart center and reach them out long and wide in front of you. So we can separate the knees about hip distance apart, knee, uh, sorry, hips stacked directly above the knees. And we're gonna either bring your forehead or chin down to the earth. So taking deep, deep, deep breaths again here into your belly, letting your belly relax and inflate, letting your lower back relax here. Allowing your chest and shoulders to soften into the mat. A couple more breaths. As you take your next exhale, we're going to drag your hands towards you, round your spine like a cat curl. And then send the inner thighs, lift them up and back as you lift your heart and your gaze up between the brows. 
And then exhale, let's come uh, to a downward facing dog. So we'll curl the toes under, slowly stretch up in the back. So let's go ahead from here, widen your hands and feet about mat distance apart and just move your hips side to side, walk it out. Walk your dog as they say, if you like here, so you can alternate bending into each knee, pushing back into each heel and hip, whatever feels good for you, even your shoulders here. Again, just moving in a way that feels good for you today. And then from here, we'll bring the feet about hip distance apart again, lower back down to the knees. We're going to, from here, uh, make sure that your the middle of your wrist crease is um, aligned with your outer shoulder. So just a little bit wider than you might think from here. Pressing into the finger pads and the knuckles. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just barely lift the knees off of the mat here. So we're using your core. Try to keep a neutral spine. So again, your inner thighs are energetically lifting up and back. So you feel this deep lift in your pelvic floor, in the transverse abdominis. Drawing navel, so about two fingers below your belly button, draw that navel in and up towards the spine. And then protract the shoulder blades here so that you can feel like the back of your heart and your upper back here is trying to press up towards the sky. And we're lifting up out of the wrist. Take one more breath. And exhale, lower the knees. Send, go ahead and relax the feet. Send the inner thighs up and back again as you inhale, look up between the brows. And as you exhale, look all the way back around, um, back towards your tailbone. Inhaling back through center. Coming up between the brows. Exhale, look all the way back again. To the other side. Inhale back through center. This time as you exhale, I want you to bring your right ear to right shoulder and press your left hip to the left side. Back through center, inhale. Exhale, left ear towards left shoulder, right hip to the right. So at your own pace, with your breath, just laterally flexing your spine side to side. So moving the hips in the opposite direction of the head. We're going to circle this around a little bit. So we're going to inhale now, inner thighs lift up and back, look up between the brows. As you exhale, right ear to right shoulder, hips to the left. Round the spine into cat pose. So we're going to curl pressing into the shins and the fingertips here. And then go to the opposite side, left ear to left shoulder, hips to the right. Inhale as you come back into cow facing, so you're looking up between the brows. And then we're continuing that around smoothly now, flowing with your breath, so making a circular motion in a way that feels good and organic for your body. And also getting into this with your body uh, wherever you need it. So if you need to stretch the neck a little bit more, stretch your glutes a little more, your lower back, just tuning into that. Let's go around the other direction. So we'll start slow again, just breaking it down as you inhale, send the inner thighs up and back, lift up between the brows. As you exhale, left ear to left shoulder, hips to the right. Rounding through your spine into cat through center. Pressing into those shin bones here too. And then inner, uh, sorry, hips to left as your right ear comes to the right shoulder. And then back through center in cow. So looking up between the brows again. Let's go ahead and circle around in that direction once, once more smoothly at your own pace and with your breath. Just one more time. The 
Beautiful. From there, inner thighs lift up and back as you inhale, back to cow. And curl the toes under as you exhale. Let's go back to down or facing dog or Adho Mukha Svanasana. Stay here for a few deep, slow breaths. Finding some stillness, lengthening through the sides of your body as you plug into the earth through the hands and feet. You can externally rotate through the shoulders so we feel the inner wrists, or sorry, the inner elbows coming forward slightly. We're pointing forward. And then pressing the shoulders up away from the hands, pressing the hips up away from the shoulders. Remember, you can always bend into your knees here as much as you need to to make this uh, manageable. A couple more breaths. From here, let's go ahead and inhale, slowly come into a plank pose. So push up position, shoulders stacked uh, above the wrists, tailbone down towards your heels. Lifting up through the heart center again here. So you can feel the back of the heart is pressing up towards the sky as you protract through the shoulder blades. Keep the neck relaxed and long. The gaze slightly forward and soft. And draw a navel again, two inches below the belly button, in and up towards the spine. From here, so you can lift the right foot off of the ground, pushing through the right heel, flexing through the foot, pinky toe towards the floor. Inhaling here, exhaling to lower. Inhale, let's lift the left foot off the ground. Heel no higher than the hip, just a couple of inches, pushing through that heel. Feel those shoulders and arms warming up and lower. Let's try that again one more time each side. So right leg, right foot lifts off the ground. And maybe if you really want to challenge yourself here, you can try Extending your left arm long in front of you. And back to plank pose. When you're ready, next breath. Left leg off the ground. And maybe if and when you feel ready, extend and reach the right arm forward with breath. Slowly coming back to center. Slow, deep breaths here. Let's bring your left knee towards your left shoulder, hold it. Inhale, back to plank. Exhale, right knee to the right shoulder, hold. Inhale, plank. Exhale, left knee to left shoulder, hold. Inhale, plank. Exhale, right knee towards right shoulder, hold. Inhale, plank. Exhale, left side to chest, hold. Inhale, plank. Exhale, right side to chest, hold. Inhale, plank. Now a little mountain climber here from left to right. <sighs> Breathing through this, just pick up the heart rate a little bit more here. Last few breaths, draw from that inner strength from your core. And exhale, downward facing dog. Deep cleansing breath here. Lengthen again through the sides of your body. From here, we're going to lower down on your knees. And bring your, so we're going to lower down halfway here. Tailbone down towards the heels again. And elbows stacked above the wrists. We're pressing into the fingertips and the knuckles. Shoulders no lower than the elbows, so we're just lowering halfway. And then come all the way down to the ground. Roll the shoulders back. From here, untuck the toes, pressing the tops of the feet into the mat. Squeeze the triceps into the ribs. We're tucking the chin in as you inhale, curl up. Lift through the heart space. Lead from the heart as you exhale, lower the heart and then the head. Let's actually open this up a little bit. So we're going to 
bring your hands out in front of you and wide so we're up onto the fingertips and the wrists and elbows are lifted so a curling cobra here legs are long and strong as you inhale curling up lift and lead from the heart head is the last thing to rise exhale lower the heart and then the head again tuck the chin inhale curling up lift from the heart tailbone down exhale keep those wrists and elbows up inhale curling up so we're undulating through the spine here as well and exhale lower the heart and then head all right from here arms come up uh, right underneath you squeezing those triceps into your ribs inhale as you push up exhale let's go back into child's pose here again let's separate the knees um, a little bit apart here so right about in line with the hips but keep the big toes touching and again resting your forehead either onto your hands or onto the ground cleansing breaths here into your back body again Just to practice and go through that yoga push-up here, we're going to take some child's pose push-ups. So we're going to roll up through your spine so that, the, again, the shoulders are stacked above the wrists. And we lower halfway down. You want to press into the fingertips and the knuckles. Keep elbows stacked above wrists and keep your shoulders in line with elbows. Tailbone pointing down towards the heels. Inhale, press up. Exhale, back to child's pose. Again, inhale, up. Exhale, halfway down. Inhale, push up. Exhale, back. We're going to pick this up a little bit. Or go at your own pace. You can go nice and slow here if you like. Inhale up, exhale back. Inhale forward. Exhale, halfway down with a tricep push up. Inhale, press up. Exhale back. Again, inhale. So the triceps are squeezing into the ribs. Inhale, press up. Exhale, back. One more time. Inhale, forward. Exhale, tricep push up. Inhale, press up. Exhale. Let's go through downward, uh, into downward facing dog here. Cur curl the toes under. Stretch it up and back. Breathe deeply. Feel free here. Release your neck, gently shake it side to side. No. And if you like, up and down, nodding the head, yes. Just let it go. Let's go ahead and walk or float the feet forward to the top of your mat here, all the way forward. Treading lightly. Inhaling halfway to rise with a nice flat back. Here, inner thighs lift up and back. Connecting to your core again. Exhale deep in your fold. Let's try that one more time. Really root down through all parts of the feet too. Inhale, plug in through the feet. Lift the belly, lift the core. Exhale, deep in your fold. We're going to sit down into an imaginary chair here, bringing the knees back and the hips way back. And then hook the right thumb in front of the left. Let's sit down low as you inhale. Spread the fingers wide. Reach up towards the sky. And as you exhale, press down to your right foot. Come up and over to your left, stretching the right side of the body. As you're ready, root down to rise up again. Inhale through center. You can lift the heart and the gaze. Exhale, come up and over to your right, pressing down into the left foot firmly. Stay grounded. As you're ready, inhale, root down. Lift the heart, maybe a little arch back through the upper back. Exhale, release the arms, interlace the fingers behind you, bend the knees a lot, and stretch the shoulders. Again, deep cleansing breaths here. Inhale, stretch, root down to stretch the legs. 
And as you exhale, release the arms when you're ready. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Again, inner thighs, lift up and back. Exhale and deepen your fold. Let's go and step back into plank pose, inhaling plank. And exhale, we can lower chaturanga so we can keep the knees uh, off the mat or on the mat. From there, we can go to upward facing or cobra. Tailbone down, belly lift, shoulders down. Exhale, we can reverse the push up here if you like. To down or facing dog. Adho Mukha and plugging in through the hands and feet. Externally rotate the shoulders, but not the hips. So the hips are slightly internally rotating. Toes slightly in, heels ever so slightly out. And you feel this lift deep in your core. Left leg towards the ceiling and three leg dog. Let's go up on your tippy toes here. And as you exhale, gently lower your right heel, but maintain the left leg up. Inhale, but listen to your body here, up on your tippy toes. Exhale, so you can keep that left leg lifted. But keep the left hip down, inhale. So outer thigh is rolling down towards the earth. Exhale. One more time as you inhale up here, exhale, thigh towards your chest, heel nice and high up into your belly button. And from here, maybe lower halfway down, so keep elbows stacked above the wrists and bend into the elbows. Inhale, press up. Exhale, step forward between your hands. Deep breaths. So from here, right hand is going to stay. You can be on your fingertips or on a block if you like. Right hand under your right shoulder. We're going to bring the left thumb to your hip crease and the four fingers to wrap, to pull your left butt cheek in and back so the hips stay square. We're going to turn the heart towards the sky. Maybe left arm reaches up towards the sky here as well, stacking the shoulders. Open the heart space. Deep cleansing breaths. Lift from your core, lift from your heart. Up out of the right shoulder. Maybe from here we take a small little circle with from your left hip. So it's a very small circular motion, just the left hip circling outward to the left or counterclockwise. Breathe. And then from here, release that left arm back down. We're going to spin your right heel down to the ground so that your toes are pointed out, like in a warrior stance. Let's come to the inside of the leg, uh, the front leg. So from here, you can gently walk it, walk the hands forward. And feel the inner thighs really light up here. So I want you to press towards the pinky toe edge edges of your feet. Feel the inner arch of the back foot lift as you feel that inner thigh as well lift. You'll feel the, the front inner thigh really light up here as well. You can stay here bowing the head forward or perhaps moving towards a little bind here. You don't have to come into the full bind, you can just do a half bind. But the left arm is going to come underneath that left leg. So same arm as leg uh, as the front leg. And then maybe wrap that left hand back behind you. Maybe bring the right arm back to meet it. So the, the left arm is the grabber, that's the, or the wrapper, that's the grabber. So maybe finding a little bit of a bind here. And as you observe the sensations here, the challenges here, Again, drawing from that inner strength through the breath. And see if we can create a little bit more space here. Try to find a little more space wherever you can. Maybe widening the collarbones here again, opening the heart. Last deep breath here. You're going to feel those inner thighs. Exhale, release. From here, we're going to slowly turn your toes to point to the right side as well so that you're in this wide Standing forward fold. Go ahead and take a moment here. Turn your right toes out and lunge halfway down here. Or if you'd like to lunge all the way down to release that, the adductors there on the left side. 
So toes are pointing out towards the ceiling, knee and toes. And you can use the right arm to gently press that right thigh and knee back, opening up through those hips. You're welcome to reach the left arm up here if you like. Inhale, stretch open through the side body. Exhale and fold. Again, from here, you could take a bind here if you want to bring the right arm back behind you. Maybe the left arm comes back to meet it. You can grab fingers or the right arm would grab the left wrist here. The wrapper is the grabber. One more breath. And exhale, releasing. Slowly coming back through center, toes in, heels out. Let's inhale, lengthen through both sides here, nice and long. And as you exhale, we're gonna walk the hands. Let's actually walk over to your left leg here. So keeping your toes inward, heels slightly out, your hips square, you're, you're gonna gently reach over the left side. Try not to drop your hips. Breathe. Imagine that uh, as your feet are planted here into your mat, into the earth, uh, feel as though you could rip this, the center, right down the center of your pants, you could rip them apart. Not too strongly though, not too much, not too little. Just feel that abduction and adduction at the same time. From there, slowly coming back to center. As you inhale, lengthen. Exhale, let's walk the feet in until you can safely turn and track knees over toes back over to the left side or to the front of your mat. Stepping that right leg back, we're going to lower the right knee. Lift the heart here as you inhale again. Look up between the brow. And as you exhale, send the hips back, toes up. So keep those hips high. So the right thigh is moving towards the left big toe. Keeping those hips square, inhaling, lengthening. Exhale as you lunge forward. Let's take another inhale here as you sink the hips, lift the heart. And then exhale, lift the toes and hips up and back. As if you're trying to go into the splits here, you stay forward, inhaling. Exhaling as you lunge. Good. And here as you inhale, think of dragging your right thigh bone towards your left heel again. Exhale, last time. We inhale, inhale here, lengthening. Exhale and soften. Maybe we're going to circle the toes around here again. Release the, the foot and the ankle. Circle the other direction. Keep that lift through your core. And then from here, lunging forward. Maybe we come to the inside of the foot. Couple breaths. I'm sorry, we're gonna move on. <laughs> Lift that back thigh off the ground. It's a good thing I have my watch. <laughs> Down or facing dog. Stretch nice and long through both sides of the body. Inhaling up onto your tippy toes. Exhale, curl forward to plank. Inhaling, lengthen in here. Gather that inner strength and exhale, lower slowly, chaturanga, or knees, chin, chest. Inhale, roll the shoulders back. You can come all the way down to come to cobra, or you can go right through to upper dog. Exhaling. Again, making sure that your breath is strong and guiding you. Audible, soothing, audible breath. Let's go ahead and bring that left leg back up, this time open through the hip. Exhale, bend that left knee, stacking left knee above your right hip. So keep your left shoulder pressing down towards the earth. 
Again, keep your shoulders in a safe place. We don't want to um, retract those shoulders, but protract them here. Keep them strong. We'll bring your left knee towards your left tricep and hold. And then from here again, you can bend the elbows to come halfway down. So your elbows stacked above the wrist. Inhale, press up. Exhale, step forward between your hands. We're gonna push off the back foot to come forward to warrior three, your Vajrasana three. Push through that heel, pinky toe, and again, outer thigh rolling down. Feel the stretch through the standing leg. And from here, if you wanna come into the standing splits, Inhale in here. Exhale, let's bring your right knee behind the left knee, squeezing and curling into a tiny little ball. Inhale, press down into the earth to stretch long. Exhale, squeeze knees together. One more time, inhale, stretch right down through the standing leg, through the standing foot. Exhale, bring your right foot to meet the left. And fold. You need to be able to really feel the difference here between the right and left side. Inhaling to rise halfway to lift. And exhale deep in your fold. Once again, sitting down nice and low in your chair. Bring your knees and your hips way back. Hook the left thumb in front of the right as you inhale. Spread the fingers wide. Lift the heart. Root down to rise up. And as you exhale, press down into the left foot to come up and over right first this time. Hips and shoulders stay square to the front. Inhale like you're trying to break your thumbs apart, come back to center. And as you exhale, root down through the right foot to come up and over to your left. Again, inhale, root down, lift and raise your heart up. Exhale, we release and interlace the opposite forefinger and thumb on top, bow the head. Release the neck, stretch those shoulders. When you're ready to inhale, stretch the legs long, root down firmly through your feet and your toes. Exhaling, releasing the arms down. Inhaling, step or float back to plank, lower chaturanga or knees, chin, chest. Halfway down. Inhale to come up, tailbone down, lift the heart. And belly, exhale. You can reverse the push up or go straight back. Down or facing. Adana Breathe. Some of you might feel totally lopsided like I do here. One leg totally different than the other side. Let's go ahead and do the other side here. Bring the right leg up towards the ceiling, up on your tippy toes. Pinky toe, outer thigh rolling down. And as you exhale, gently lower the heel. Inhale, try to maintain that right leg up. As you exhale and lower the heel, but listen to your body. One more time, inhaling up. Exhaling, thigh to your chest, lift that heel nice and high up into your belly button. Stay here or maybe lower halfway so your elbows stay stacked above the wrists. A little push up, inhale, press up. Exhale, step it forward between the hands. From here, left hand underneath you, right thumb to the hip crease, that right hip, and pull with your four fingers, pull your right butt cheek in and back. And then stack your shoulders, roll your heart towards the sky as you maybe reach up here. Feel the twist again is starting from your navel up through the spine. So it's not a hip twist, it's a true spinal twist, keeping the hips and core engaged. From here, we're gonna circle just your right hip. So it's a small circle around the right. So now clockwise going outward, very small. So that the circle really, you feel it coming from your core. You don't see a whole lot of movement Banging around, just a very small, very slight, subtle from your core. From there, we're going to go ahead and come back down. Spin your left heel down towards the earth and come to the inside of your right foot. So we're coming all the way forward here, reaching the arms out long in front of you. 
this is almost like a mix of downward facing dog and warrior one or actually warrior two so imagine your upper body is doing a downward facing dog but your lower body is doing warrior two so here again you want to press into the pinky the big toe mounds and the outer edges of the heels so you feel the the inner arches of your feet lift you feel the inner thighs really engaged and warm imagine again here the inner thighs are stretching long as the outer thighs are plugging back into the hip sockets again here you can stay here or bring the right arm underneath the right leg so we can find a half spine here wrapping the right arm back behind you or maybe go ahead and wrap the left arm as well and the right hand can grab the left wrist or fingertips deep slow breaths here maybe rolling your heart towards the sky or keeping your gaze back down towards the earth but see again here as we feel the deep warming sensations in the hip and the quadriceps the hamstrings the glutes the inner thighs so you can find a little bit more space with your breath you can widen the collarbones and open the heart Draw from that deep inner strength, from your core, from your breath. One more deep breath. Exhaling, releasing. Good. From there, we're going to turn your toes to point to the left side. I'm going to turn my body around so that I'm not sticking my butt right at you. <laughs> so we're stretching here. Again, forward folding over that leg, or both legs in the wide standing forward fold. We're gonna come up slowly and we're gonna point, uh, sorry, turn out your left foot um, about 45 degrees, lunging either halfway down or we can come all the way down. So again, we get this deep stretch through your right inner thigh, toes pointing up, left arm can press against the left thigh and knee open through the hips inhale we can stretch through the right side of the body here if you like open up and again exhale we can fold forward here similar to what we were just doing in that warrior pose or left arm can wrap around the left leg and then the right arm can also meet it you can come into half bind or a full bind listen to your body and deep cleansing breaths. You can roll the heart up towards the sky or keep your gaze down towards the earth. Releasing the bind here when you're ready. Slowly from here back to your prasarita padottanasana or wide standing forward fold. This time we're going to walk it over so we keep the hips square the toes pointing in towards each other and we're walking over to the right leg this time stretching that right leg out deep slow breaths so it's a little bit of a twist here as you reach over to the one side Next deep exhale, lifting out. As you're ready to hear slowly rising back up as you inhale, again walking it in, heel toe, heel toe, till you can safely track knees over your right toes and then um, come back to a nice low lunge here. So we inhale and crescent lunge, lift the heart and the gaze up towards the sky. As we exhale, we send the hips back, lift the toes up. So even though we're going back, we're still lifting up through that left thigh, hip square. When you're ready, inhale and coming forward. Again, like you're trying to drag your back knee towards your front heel or the left knee towards the right heel. And with your next exhale, stretch that front leg like you're trying to move forward into the splits. 
Inhaling here. Exhaling as you lunge. One more time, inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling, stretch that front leg. Exhaling as you fold over it. Inhaling as you come forward to lunge. Let's walk the hands to the inside of the foot. Lift the back knee off the ground. We're going to stretch that right leg again up and back to downward facing dog. And feel. You're welcome to stay here. Just plugging in. Feel with your breath. Lengthen through the sides of your body. Lift the hips high away from the shoulders. Or if and when you feel ready or if you like, inhaling, coming forward to plank. Exhaling, lower chaturanga or knees to chest so you can come halfway down. Inhale to cobra or upward facing. Shoulders down, elbows squeezing in. And exhale again, you can reverse the push up or go straight back to downward facing dog. Deep cleansing breaths. So as you inhale, we're going to reach that right leg up to the sky. Open the hip again this time. Bend that right knee, stacking the knee above the hips. You can also drag that left heel towards the earth. And drag your right shoulder down towards the earth, away from the right knee. So think of a long line of energy here from your right shoulder to your right knee. Lengthening that side. Inhale as you stretch it back out. Exhale, right knee to right shoulder, hold it here. Stay or lower halfway here into a half, uh, push up. Inhale, press up. And exhale, step forward between the hands. We're going to push off the back leg again to warrior three, here the Jasna three. So again, here we're pushing through that heel, no higher than the hip. Outer thigh is rolling down, pinky toe pointing down. Lifting the heart. You could also find a balance here if you like. And then from here, you can come into standing splits if you like. So trying to keep the hips square as you can as you come into standing splits. It's a lot harder than turning out, actually. And then we're going to bring your left knee behind the right knee and squeeze the knees together. Curl into a little ball. And then inhale, hips stay square as you come into standing splits. Exhale, left knee behind the right, squeeze. Root down through the foot as you inhale, stretch. Hip square as you can. And then exhale, let's go and lower that left foot to meet the right. Deep in your forward fold, Uttanasana. Observe what you feel as you breathe. Inhaling halfway to rise. Exhale again, deep in your fold. Root down through your feet again as you inhale. Reach up towards the sky. And as you exhale, let's bring the arms down by your sides. Close the eyes down. As you come into Tadasana Mountain Pose. And just feel. Breathe. And rooting down through the feet as you inhale, reach up towards the sky. As you exhale, bowing to the earth, what can we let go of today? Inhale, coming up halfway to rise, flat back. And exhale, fold. Let's go ahead and slide your hands all the way underneath your feet here. So bend your knees a lot, actually, to start. Bend your knees and place your hands under your feet, so palms and feet are touching, toes are touching your inner wrists, and now bend your elbows back towards your shin. So you're gonna feel a big stretch in your wrists here. And tuck the chin as you slowly stretch your legs as much as you like. Keep bending those elbows back towards your shin bones. Big, beautiful breaths into your back body. Feel that prana or life force swirl throughout your whole body. 
One more breath. Exhaling empty, slowly, completely out. And then release your hands out from underneath. Let's go ahead and uh, bring your, let's sit your hips way back into your chair. We're just gonna make your way all the way down to sit, however you need to. You can open the legs there as well. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn myself around here. So from here, the closer the legs are towards your body, uh, the more challenging this will be for your core. If you need to bring your feet a little further out in front of you, you also wanna keep your feet really rooted, connected into the earth here. So we're gonna inhale, lengthen through the spine, stacking, lift your heart. Feel that natural curve of the lower back. Now exhaling, hollow the belly, deep inside, curl in and up as you round through your spine. Maybe letting go of the legs or you can hold on to them. Rolling down vertebrae by vertebrae. You wanna feel your lower back press into the earth first. Then mid, and then release your whole body into the earth. And let your legs stretch out here too. A moment here in Shavasana. From here, we're gonna bring the feet flat on your mat with the knees pointing up towards the ceiling. Toes slightly in, heels slightly out again, and uh, knees stacked directly above the ankles or the heels. Root down through both feet as you inhale, lift your hips up, raise your arms up overhead behind you, stretch as you lift the hips into your back bend here. Exhaling, draw navel towards your spine. Again, about two inches below the belly button, feel that, hug that in. Inhale, inflate the belly like a big balloon. Reach up towards the sky again as you exhale, bring the arms down with the hips. This time as you inhale, we raise the hips, but bring the arms underneath the shoulders. Roll the shoulders back, so underneath your body. Interlace your fingers, yoga mudra. Rooting down through all parts of the feet. Only raising the hips as high as is comfortable though for your back. Feel your glutes, your inner thighs, those abductors and your hamstrings really ignite and engage here. And then let your breath take over as you stay connected to the earth. Inhaling, feel the belly inflate again like a big balloon. Exhaling, navel towards spine. Inhaling, belly inflate. Exhaling, navel to spine. One more deep breath here again. As you exhale, slowly come down to sit right on top of your hands as they're interlaced, stretching your wrists and your fingers a little bit. Those shoulders are still rolled underneath you. Heart is still open. <sighs> Let's release the arms out from underneath and bring the soles of the feet together, knees out to the sides and sit about a kanasan or butterfly stretch bound angle. Ah. 